Hi everyone, spring is here and Apple has done an update for the iOS 15 and iPad OS 15 as well, which brings visual lookup to a more international audience. So it's been something that they've had in the US, but now it's going to check it here. It's now available in Canada, Australia, UK, Singapore, Indonesia, Germany, Italy, Spain, Mexico, and of course, the United States. Um, it is limited to English in Indonesia and Singapore, but what it allows you to do is look up information in your photos of things like plants, flowers, pets, which seems to be limited to cats and dogs at the moment, popular landmarks and art. And so what I could do is basically take a photo here, say of this plant, which we'll do in a moment and look it up and it will give you information about it where you could find out more. Now previously you needed an app for that and you had to pay good money for it, but now it's free here on the iPhone and the iPad as well. It's even worked when I've taken photographs with my camera and then uploaded onto the camera roll and it's found it there as well. So really, really useful. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna try it out. I've got an iPhone 11 Pro here. So this works on iPhones XR and XS and more recent ones and also on certain models of the iPad as well. And I've got a link below so you can check because all these things are gonna be updated with countries. So there's gonna be a link below in Apple's website and you'll be able to say the most recent countries. And I'll just put a list there as well of current iPads as well. So just bear in mind that that could update as new iPads come out as well. So let's actually just try this out. So what I'm gonna do is go into my camera and I'm going to just take a photograph of this plant. Now I've not tried this before, so we don't know whether that will work on here. So let's just get this photo. Bottom left hand corner, I can just tap to open up the photo now or I could go into my photos app. And there it is. And you can see down the bottom here where you've got the little information button, it now has a couple of stars on it. If I tap on that, that's where it's going to show me the plant. So you can see in the middle of the picture here, it's got a picture of a leaf and you can see it's got look up plants. I'm going to tap on it and it's going to come up telling me what it is. And I could then tap in there. It's coming up with Wikipedia. It's got other photos that are similar. So I guess you could check what it is. So I could just tap here and it will give me more information about it. Now this does work with pets. So let's go and have a look now for animals. So you can see here, I've got this dog here and this is one I just saw walking in the park. And again, it's come up with a little info with the stars on it. I tap on it, it says, look up dog. And as you can see, it's come up with the paw prints and it's not a golden retriever. It's more like a dash hound. So you've got photos to compare it to. Is it always a hundred percent right? I don't know, but we're going to find out. So I was going past Big Ben the other day. As it happens, they've just taken the scaffolding around it. For those of you that don't know, they've done a major refit of it. So let's just check it out with a landmark here. So here is Big Ben. As you can see, it's got their little stars there again on the info button. Let's just tap on that, tap on the landmark. It's telling me it's Big Ben and you can see here as well, it's actually got the map here. And if I tapped on that, it would show me the map and directions, more photos and so on. So there you are, a great tool for helping you identify things such as plants, pets, landmarks and art. I haven't tried art here. I need to get to an art gallery and try that out. I noticed that this also works on photos that I've taken with my camera and also uploaded to the camera roll. Thanks for watching. I hope this really helps. It is a nice time to go out and check out plants and things like that. So I enjoy taking photographs of plants, but I don't know much about them. And this is helping me learn what I'm taking photos of. Thanks for watching. If you do like this, please do like, share and subscribe and come back for more. I've got plenty on my YouTube channel. Take care.